Firstly, congratulations on the win um, against a tough opposition. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always going to be a tough one at this stage of the season. We, we knew uh, this commotion of not having a coach and all that is making things even more difficult for us to even know what they might come up with in terms of providing them. But fortunately, our analysts did a very good job. Uh, the game came out the way we wanted, and all the matches we watched for them came out that way. And uh, if we were a little bit short, I think first half we could have wrapped this game. Four goals easy. We had uh, three one against one situations with the goalkeeper, which I think would have easily given us the, the game. And at half time, all the coaches were livid because we, when you miss such chances and you are leading one nil, the game always turns out differently. And look at what just happened. Uh, we miss a big chance on the opposite end and immediately there is a transition on the opposite end and they, they score. But uh, one is, is encouraged with uh, the coming back of Ogrim Diva is really showing signs that now he's coming of age. It was a bit unfortunate for Villa not to get a chance, for, for, for Skipper not to get a chance because the truth of the matter is they, they've had some very good performances. And those performances have, 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 have brought them into, into, the, into the 18 men squad. And uh, one is just encouraged by the fact that we, we have won another very critical match in a very critical time of the season. Because these away matches at this time of the season, when you've got a big match coming, they are always difficult for players to focus on the cheaper game when they know they've got a Paris game after that. But uh, one is encouraged that at least we gave a good fight, we created a lot of good chances, but we, I think we made the game a little bit difficult for ourselves. Uh, talking about the stage of the season, uh, how critical is this victory in the bigger scheme of things uh, on the league table? It's very important because now you, you're starting to count how many games must you win in order to secure the, the, the top spot. And you're starting to say if the, the people that are chasing you sleep up, uh, it makes even life more easier for you going forward. But our focus is always on our cycles and uh, we are happy that we have achieved our targets thus far. We are, we are getting closer and closer to where we want to be. Uh, nobody would have anticipated that by this stage of the season we would be where we are in terms of the number of points and the position. But uh, one still believes we, we can do better. We, we, we've got some points that we, we dropped that we did not deserve to drop when we had performed exceptionally well. But uh, overall, you always take every three points that you get at this stage of the season because it's very difficult to get it, more especially against teams that are fighting relegation. It becomes even more and more difficult because the desire, the intrinsic motivation uh, is a little bit higher and even some extrinsic motivation because uh, opponents put maybe more bonuses at this stage and they make the game even more more and more difficult. But uh, one is, is always encouraged. When you, when you beat these teams at this stage of the season, you must know those are big points because these are the most difficult teams to beat at this stage of the season. And are you concerned about the missed chances, uh, not taking uh, shots out of the box and wanting to drop the ball? into the net? I'm concerned with not taking chances uh, because I think we, we got a lot of one against one situations uh, but on the other hand we know what Denga is our goalkeeper we know what he's capable of uh, even the penalty nearly saved it he's a very good goalkeeper and I've always said he's got a very bright future as a goalkeeper and I'm not surprised that he managed to, to do what he has done uh, I think Timbers one was just unfortunate because there Moatenga was already anticipating a cross and he could have just walked that ball into the net. But he was unfortunate not to score, to be honest. When you hit an upright uh, and we had seen the goalkeeper where he was, we must always give a little bit of a chance and credit for the, for the fact that you looked and waited for the right moment. But unfortunately, when it's not a goal, you always expect it to... To, to explain and if you score there is never any remarks column. Yeah.
off TV and also in the stand, it looked as if maybe players were preserving energy for the next game against Pirates. Is that the case or was for them giving them their all? I would not say they were they were preserving energy. Uh, they've had far too many matches. That is the truth. But uh, I think from time to time, when you don't score, you, the, the instinctive thinking would always be, let's try to protect what we have. And uh, that is never really coming from the coaches. It's coming from the players themselves. When they see that, hey, this game is becoming a banana skin, maybe let's preserve energy. Because immediately we considered, you saw again, the team checked up quickly and uh, started to push. But even before we considered the goal, we, we should have scored. Immediately we should have scored and the game would have been finished. And that is the only concern because at this stage we want to try to wrap the games as quickly as possible so that we can rest players for the next match. When we don't have that, it never really feels very good.